Hello, good morning viewers. Uh, let us look on to how to find the inverse Laplace of some functions that has to do with a shifting theory. Um, here on the board, we asked to find the inverse Laplace transform of this function. If you could remember in our previous lesson, to find the Laplace transform of a real exponent, multiplying another function, say, cos bt, this is the same thing as finding the Laplace transform of cos bt, then you replace s with s minus a. And you know that the Laplace transform of cos bt is s over s squared plus b squared. Then what we are going to do in order to obtain the Laplace transform of this, you replace s with s minus a. s minus a, s minus a. And this is the Laplace transform of this. So taking the inverse Laplace transform of this, you're going to get back the initial function, which is exponential at cos bt. So the same principle here, you know uh, 4 can be written as 2 power 2. So here our b is 2 and our a is 3. This is equal to our new function of s. Um, exponential a and our a here is 3 so we have 3t they multiplied by cos bt and our b is 2 because we have b squared here so b uh, corresponds to 2 here so we have 2t hence this is the inverse Laplace transform of this so the question we need to ask ourselves what about if this value here is not 3 because it must correspond to this other 3 and other 2 of 10 this new function. So suppose we have this number here to be equal to 2. You have to ensure that this number here is 3. So to do that, we can subtract negative 1 here so that it becomes negative 3. But to compensate that, we have to add positive 1. So this can be written as the inverse Laplace transform of s minus, minus 2, minus 1. Okay, let me all write them together. Minus 2, then we can subtract 1 and add 1 at the same time because negative 1, positive 1 is 0. Divide by s minus 3 squared plus 2 squared. Um, this is equal to, we can write this as the inverse Laplace transform of s minus 2 minus 1 is going to make it minus 3. So we have s minus 3, then plus 1, divided by s minus 3 squared plus 2 squared. Again, we can now break this down into two units of fractions. Uh, which is going to be equal to the inverse Laplace transform of the first one, s minus 3, over s minus 3 squared plus 2 squared. That is, I group the first two, then divide by the denominator. Then I'm now going to add the other one, which is plus the inverse Laplace transform of, uh, we have, 1 over s minus 3 squared plus 2 squared. So by near looking at this, you know this corresponds to this, which is going to make it exponential 3t cos 2t. But this one is a sine function. But to obtain that sine function, this one has to be equal to 2. So how do we do that? We can multiply this one by 2. To compensate that, we have to divide the function by 2 again. So we can write 1 over 2 here. So now this is an exponential function multiplying a sine function. This is an exponential function multiplying a cos function. So finally, we have for this exponential 3t. This 3 corresponds to this. Multiply by cos 2t. 
then plus we have 1 over 2 1 over 2 then exponential 3t then times sine 2t hence we say this is the solution for the inverse Laplace transform of this function so now let us look on to another problem this is our next problem we are asked to find the inverse Laplace transform of 3s minus 15 divided by 2s squared minus 4s plus 10. We don't have any function from those functions that we derive initially that correspond to this. So we have to do a kind of manipulation or that to transform them into one of those functions. First of all, let us factorize this function. Um, this is going to make it um, um, between 3s and 15, they have 3 in common. So we see we have 3 divided by, and each of this term can be divided by 2. So we have 2 outside. Then the inverse Laplace transform of, already we have factor 3 here, we have s left, minus, we factor 3 here, we have 5 left, divided by, here we factor 2, we have s squared left, Minus here we have two s left, then plus five. And again, we don't have anything in this form, and we cannot factorize the denominator. So I think we can make the first two terms of f x square function. So this is equal to three over two, the inverse Laplace transform of s minus five divide by s squared minus 2s. To make this a perfect square, we are going to add the square of the half of the coefficient of this s. The coefficient of s is negative 2. Divide by 2 is going to make it negative 1. If you square this, you obtain positive 1. So we are going to add 1 here. We have 5. We added one, but one is not part of the function, so we have to subtract one to make a kind of compensation. This is equal to three over two, the inverse Laplace transform of S minus five. I can now factorize this. It will be S minus half of the coefficient of S, which is negative one squared. This minus this is 4, but I can write it as 2 power 2. Again, we have s minus 1 here, but we have s minus 5. We want this to be in the form of s minus 1. So we are going to add 4 to this number to make it negative 1. So this is equal to 3 over 2. The inverse Laplace transform of s minus 5, then we say plus 4 minus 4. 4 minus 4 is 0, so it's like we have not added anything. Divide by s minus 1 squared plus 2 squared. <coughs> this is equal to 3 over 2, the inverse Laplace transform of minus 5 plus 4 is negative 1, so we have s minus 1, then minus 4, divide by s minus 1 squared plus 2 squared. Again, we can now break this down into two units of fractions. This is equal to 3 over 2, the inverse Laplace transform of s minus 1 divided by s minus 1 squared plus 2 squared. Then the other one, we have minus 3 over 2, the inverse Laplace transform of 4, because we have factorized negative sign all over s minus 1 squared plus 2 squared. By now looking, this is an exponential function multiplying cos function. 
This is equal to 3 over 2. For this, we have exponential a t, but a is 1, so we have only t. Then cos b t, but b is 2, so we have 2 t. Minus. We're supposed to have 2 here in order to have an exponential function, multiplying sign function. So we can factor 2 out such that we have only 2 here, and the other 2 will multiply this 3, such that we have 3 times 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, so we can have 3 here. So we have minus 3, this is exponential t sine 2t. Hence, we say this is the solution for the inverse Laplace transform of this function. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching and do have a nice day.